Hello and welcome to Monitor Cyber Attacks. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. We are going to learn about various cyber attacks on networks and then how we can analyze these cyber attacks inside Wireshark that we are going to cover here in this section. Let's start with Monitor DOS and DDoS attack. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. We are going to learn about DOS and DDoS attack how to perform it and then how we can analyze it inside Wireshark that we are going to cover here in this video. So what you can do first of all, first of all you can start Wireshark inside your Windows machine and you can also start your browser. So guys I am inside my Windows 10 machine. So first of all we can start Wireshark. So you can click on your home inside your Windows. You can simply search for Wireshark, click here and open it inside your system. Meanwhile, you can also open your browser. So here's my browser. Now we are performing flooding attack, right? DOS attack is basically flooding on network. So I need to download the flooding attack tool. Then we will flood the network and then we will analyze the packets inside Wireshark. So Wireshark is open here. All right. Next is let me download the tool. So the tool name is Loic. And the use of this tool is to perform flooding attack in network. So you can type here download like and hit enter. So you can see darknet.org is available here. So you can click here. Let me come down. And here you can see the zip file. Click here and download it inside your system. So let me click on open. This is the exe file you can see here. Double click here and open it inside your system. Using this tool, we are going to perform flooding attack. Here it is. Accept the agreement. Click on accept. And here it is. So this is the tool we are using here in this video to perform flooding attack. Now, basically I need to set the target. So you can choose any machine inside your network. For example, in VMware Workstation, I have Linux machine. So I'm taking this machine as target machine. So let me check the IP address of my Linux machine. Inside Linux, you can type here ifconfig to check the IP address. So this is the IP address 192.168.136.129. All right. Let me minimize it. Let me type the IP address 192.168.136.129. You can check the IP address again. 136.129. Fine. All right. Now click lock on. We have set the target here. Now, this is Wireshark. Right? So, what you can do here, you can select your adapter. Don't start it now. I will start it later. Now, inside Loic, we have selected the target. This is the message. So, you can change the message if you want, like you have been hacked. Something like that. You can select that method. For example, let me select UDP. I'm selecting UDP method to send the packets from my system to the other system. Port number is 80. Fine. Thread 10. Timeout. So everything is set here. Now let me start the Wireshark. So select the adapter. Double click here. And here it has started. All right. Let me open Loic and click on this button. Now you can see here that it is requesting. It is sending request from my system to the other system. Right. And it has already sent over 30,000 packets. Now you can stop it. If you want, you can also change the other method. For example, you can select TCP, right? And then you can click on again this button to start the flooding attack. All right. Now we can click on stop flooding. And now we can analyze the packets inside Wireshark. Now guys, what you can do here, basically, we can also set another target. For example, we have learned that how to perform attack on a network, right? We can also take IP address of a website and we can also attack on a web server. So let me give an example of that. Then we will analyze Wireshark. So what you can do here, you can open your command prompt. So this is my command prompt. And there is a sample website, vulnerweb.com, provided by Acunetix. And we can find the IP address of that website. So you can type here ping space www.vulnerweb.com and hit enter. 
so you can see the IP address control C to stop it this is the IP address 176.28.50.165 right so you can type this IP address inside log now remove everything inside IP and type here 176.28.50.165 all right now let me minimize it click lock on all right and now you can stop the capturing and restart it again so click continue without saving now open log and you can select udb packets here and click on this button to start the attack again so you can see here that we are sending so many packets inside the web server or, or you can see the website here and you will see so many packets inside wireshark so if we check inside wireshark then here you can see that these all packets are related to the flooding because you can see in the source this is the ip address of my system and this is basically destination which is the ip address of the web server right so if you are attacking on a machine inside network or if you are attacking on a web server you can see the result here so these all packets are basically you can see the protocol because we were using protocol udp right udp method here you can see the protocol udp the info length of the packets destination and source and you can see the time so these all packets are related to flooding because you can see the pattern here right and this is all about the flooding attack so that's how you can analyze that this is basically the flooding attack you can open it and here you can see that the message you have been hacked you can see here right and you, you can see inside the log that we have sent this message actually inside the packet you have been hacked and we i can also analyze it inside wireshark basically these all packets are related to flooding or regarding dos or ddos attack in the next video we are going to learn that how to monitor port scanning attack inside network